touching the corpse to become a saint. I can pick up dropped objects introduction. With the touch corpse panel, I can pick up dropped objects from the deceased. Even the cultivation, realm, memory, and even identity are within the range of being picked up. It can also be integrated. Dao Jing plus innate qi watching technique equals a qi double cultivation method golden feather protecting life feather plus golden ping escape plus golden ping true blood equals golden wings big. Chapter 1. Should I pick up the room art? You are listening at novel full dot audio. Head on the mountain, feet on the reservoir, descendants will be rich for generations to come. Cover the top with gold and the bottom with silver, so that children and grandchildren can hold a treasure trove. Wearing seed flowers on the left and right sides of the body, future generations children and grandchildren can make a fortune. In the spiritual hall, the white curtain hangs low and cigarettes curl up. A young Taoist airing a Taoist robe holds a roll of yellow talismans and recites funeral texts around the open coffin in the center of the spiritual hall. The young man's voice was deep and powerful, echoing throughout the hall, adding a sense of solemnity. The crowd of people wearing hemp and filial piety outside the morning hall couldn't help but whisper when they saw this. It seems that Dao Sheng has indeed inherited Mo Laodao's legacy. He is very impressive, and Wang Yuanwei did not hire the wrong person. The girl next to her looked at the middle dot aged man talking beside her, and couldn't help but wink. That's for sure. Brother Daosheng was raised by Mo Daochang. Although he is an apprentice, he is not much different from his own son. I used to think it was taboo to let him host, but now there's nothing I can do. Well, fortunately he learned this skill. After Mo Daochang passed away, he could still take on the ritual. Otherwise, this kid would be delicate and tender. What else could he do? How many acres of land could he cultivate? The man looked at Imo Daosheng, who was not far away but had a tall and slender figure, and said to Nuayu. The young girl looked disdainfully at her proud father, who was dressed in a Taoist robe but still exuded elegance. Imo Daosheng, with his sword eyebrows and star-like eyes, saw stars shining in his eyes. Dad! You don't understand, this is called Juanxiu. How come I only found out now that Brother Daosheng looks so good? The man couldn't help but tease his playboy daughter and said, he used to be such a slutty girl that he couldn't even look up when talking. Can you see what he looks like? However, looking at Imo Daosheng, who was calmly presiding over the ritual, the man couldn't help but murmur. I always feel that after Imo Lao Dao passed away, this kid changed a bit. Is this too exciting? I don't know, I thought it was a ghost on me. Thinking about the latter, even in daylight, the man couldn't help but feel a chill behind his back, but in the blink of an eye, he dispelled this nonsense. Just kidding, where is there a ghost who presides over rituals? At this moment, Mo Daosheng, who was walking around the coffin with seven star steps and solemnly reciting funeral texts, was unaware that his underwear had almost been guessed by the man. In a sense, it is not a problem for Mo Xiao, who travels through this body, to be said to be possessed by a ghost. Mo Daosheng was originally just a student from Blue Star China. A few months ago, by chance, he traveled to this place similar to ancient society. As a result, Mo Daosheng replaced the young man with the same name and surname as himself, and gained some understanding of the current situation by acquiring memories of the original owner. The original body of this body was quite thin and weak. Before wearing it, he often fainted, had a high fever, and ultimately died, which gave Mo Daosheng the opportunity to be possessed by ghosts. And the Taoist temple where the original master lived was even more desolate, with only one old Taoist named Mo remaining besides the original master. Taoist Mo has already reached the age of antiquity, with pale hair on his temples. People also think that only his surname Mo is known. He moved from another city decades ago and has no children. Mo Daosheng was a baby that Mo Lao Dao picked up and discarded by someone else. He believed that there was a virtue in heaven, so he adopted it and recorded it in his name. The two of them depended on each other for their lives. 
Mo Lao Dao has no ability to subdue demons and demons, the only thing he praises is his skillful face-to-face -face technique and fluent Taoist scriptures. The original owner was physically weak and difficult to work in the fields, so the two of them relied solely on Mo Lao Dao to look at the faces of the surrounding people, measure feng shui, and preside over rituals. Although not considered impoverished, it can only be considered as barely making ends meet. Fortunately, the original owner was quite early witted. After Mo Lao Dao funded him to go to the school to study, he knew that Mo Lao Dao was not easy and worked very hard. Even the harsh Mr. Shi cannot help but praise the original owner for being a top scorer and having an unlimited future. I was supposed to go to the spring exam a few months ago, but unfortunately, the original owner suddenly fell ill and missed the imperial examination time, and even died. Mo Lao Dao also ran out of oil and ran out of lamps a month ago, passed away for a long time, and was finally buried by Mo Daosheng who had traveled through time. If the original owner were still there, facing such a situation, it would be difficult to get through the next cold winter without seeking help from others. As for why Mo Daosheng was so proficient in presiding over religious ceremonies and reciting the Daoist scriptures, this is not the credit of the original master's memory, but, ding, dropped object detected, do you want to pick it up? Just as Mo Daosheng was standing by the side of the coffin, holding a yellow talisman and slowly brushing past Wang Yuanwei's corpse from head to foot, a light blue transparent panel suddenly jumped out of his sight. Pickable list. Memory. Wang Fu's memory, incomplete, skill. Room technique, beginner level, items. Morning clothes, silk, gold thread, slightly damaged gold teeth that's right, this is the golden finger that Mo Daosheng has the confidence to establish himself in this world. Although the panel is quite simple and clear, whenever Mo Daosheng touches a corpse, he can choose to pick up the dropped objects on the corpse. Dropped objects not only include items on their body, but even intangible items such as the opponent's memory and martial arts can be obtained. The reason why Mo Daosheng was able to preside over religious affairs so proficiently was also because he picked up his complete experience in the Daoist scriptures while trying to gather Mo Laodao's body. You can't take morning clothes, otherwise the clothes will disappear out of thin air. Later, you will have to be bound and burned to death by Wang Yuanwei's family as demons. There is no need for memory, it feels like it's all useless. Just pick up a cultivation method, it's better than not having one. After pondering for a moment, Mo Daoxing's mind moved and he used his mind to choose room technique. Ding! Pick up room technique, beginner, as the panel disappeared, a warm current poured into Mo Daoxing's body from Wang Yuanwei's corpse. The content of the secret script of room technique came to Mo Daoxing's mind, accompanied by Wang Yuanwei's practical experience of him. The legitimate wife of a small family, the charming concubine of several rooms, and a friend's wife who only keeps an empty room. Scenes of enchanting beauty are vivid in Mo Daoxing's mind, leaving him only able to admire the city's ability to play, and his heart couldn't help but feel a bit restless. Mo Daoxing quickly silently recited the Daoist scriptures in his heart and sought help from the book garden www.jiaoshuyuan.com to suppress this desire, so as not to embarrass himself in public. After picking up the dropped object, Mo Daoxing did not slow down the steps, but completed Wang Yuanwei's ritual step by step. After presiding over the ceremony and covering the coffin for Wang Yuanwei, Mo Daoxing also breathed a sigh of relief. Although rituals may seem like simple recitation of scriptures, gestures, and gestures, only by actually hosting them can one know how tiring it is to recite funeral texts and Taoist scriptures intermittently for almost half an hour. At the same time, he had to keep walking to perform the ritual, even though Mo Daosheng had strengthened his exercise, he still felt a bit tired at such intensity. Just as Mo Daosheng retreated to the corner to rest, a woman slowly walked up to him and handed him a silver ticket. Thank you, Taoist, for supporting the Dharma for our family. It's a small gesture of disrespect. Mo Daosheng was not polite. He took the silver ticket and stuffed it into his arms. Isn't work just for making money? It's just right, isn't it? 
Later, Mo Daosheng looked up at the woman and saw that although she was dressed in filial piety, she added a touch of charm. The woman's face was coated with thin powder, and the corners of her eyebrows and eyes were full of spring. Her watery peach blossom eyes seemed to drip water. Mo Daosheng's eyes twitched slightly as he scanned his entire body. He recalled fragments of Wang Yuanwei's memories in his heart and understood that this person was Wang Yuanwei's daughter. In law, recalling the beautiful scenes of Wang Yuanwei and him, Mo Daosheng couldn't help but sigh in his heart when he compared them. Indeed, a woman should be pretty and filial. The ancients never deceived me. Although wearing a white morning gown covers up her graceful figure, it exudes a taboo sense of immorality. If Wang Yuanwei were still there, seeing this scene would probably lead to a hearty, intestinal battle, with him on the spot, Mo Daosheng joked in his heart. Chapter 2 Five Character True Words You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. As Wang Yuanwei's daughter. In. Law, Yi Miaoqing originally thought that the young Taoist in front of her had an excellent appearance, and when paired with a Taoist robe, she looked even more ethereal and charming, with a strong sense of subduing temptation. Perhaps it can become a substitute for father. In. Law. That's why I took over the job of paying Mo Daosheng and came to talk to him. But as the other person's gaze wandered over her, Yi Miaoqing felt as if she was exposed naked in front of her. Under Mo Daosheng's clear and playful gaze, it seemed as if he had seen through all his secrets, which made Yi Miaoqing feel a bit scared and hesitant to speak. Upon seeing this, Mo Daosheng smiled and nodded slightly, ready to leave. But Yi Miaoqing didn't know where the courage came from, so she spoke softly and invited. Wait a moment, little Taoist. Why don't you stay and have dinner? Our whole family is from Xiangdao, so that we can entertain and entertain ourselves. Yi Miaoqing spoke softly in a warm voice, conveying emotions through her eyebrows and eyes. Although initially intimidated by Mo Daosheng's gaze, it only became more and more stimulating later on. The thought of how Mo Daosheng would still look like this when we went to the clouds and rain together, wouldn't it be more interesting? At this point, Yi Miaoqing couldn't help but tremble slightly, feeling the undercurrent of spring tide. Upon hearing this, Mo Daosheng was taken aback. Based on the experience he had gained from Wang Yuanwei, if he stayed behind, he was afraid that it would not be his own meal, but that he would be used. Just Wang Yuanwei's tiger cave, it's not worth it. I still want it for my own waste, let alone seemingly Mo Daosheng suddenly spoke up, may I ask if it is convenient to ask if Mr. Wang had frequent diarrhea, bloody stools, obvious weight loss, and difficult wound healing before his death. Yi Miaoqing was surprised and covered her mouth with her jade hand. How did the Taoist know? It is indeed so. Mo Daosheng validated his ideas by combining what he saw with his own visuals. But when it comes to other people's family matters, Mo Daosheng cannot speak directly, nor can he provide his own evidence. He can only act as a riddler. I only know a little about medical skills. Recently, there has been a rampant epidemic in the city. Madam, why don't you ask the doctor to take a look at the whole family to be prepared? After finishing speaking, Mo Daosheng hurriedly said goodbye. Sorry to disturb you, I can't afford to provoke you. Yi Miaoqing saw that Mo Daosheng had already made up her mind to leave, and could only sigh that fate was not meant to be. She hoped that the future would be long, and at the same time, to thank Mo Daosheng for his guidance, she gave him another silver ticket. Upon seeing this, Mo Daosheng felt that he could not accept the reward of no merit after receiving the silver bill. Therefore, he gave Yi Miaoqing a five character mantra to carefully study. Yi Miaoqing looked at Mo Daosheng's distant figure with reluctance, reciting the five character truth that Mo Daosheng had asked him to savor. Is AI just one word? Brother Lin, Brother Wu, I'm leaving. Mo Daosheng left the city gate carrying a live chicken he had bought from the market on the way, warmly greeting the two soldiers guarding the city. Although he was dressed as a Taoist, he held a chicken flapping its wings in his hand, causing his painting style to deviate a bit. The original immortal and righteous style disappeared, 
resembling a fake Taoist. However, the two soldiers were also commonplace, both seeing big things from a young age and knowing the root and bottom. An even older soldier patiently advised Mo Daosheng. Hurry up and go back. It's getting dark early now, otherwise walking on mountain roads in the dark will make you suffer. Mo Daosheng chuckled and raised the live chicken in his hand. I know, Brother Lin, why don't you hurry back to eat? Kill a chicken and have some good food. Watching Mo Daosheng humming a tune and walking leisurely towards the distance, Lin couldn't help but smile at another soldier. Daosheng, this child, has become much more likable now. Alas, if Mo Lao Dao had seen Daosheng so cheerful before leaving, he would probably have been extremely happy. Mo Daosheng was not unaware of the significant changes he had made, but apart from the time when he first crossed over and faced Mo Lao Dao, who was dependent on the original master, he had to do his best to play the role of the original master, fearing that Mo Lao Dao would see a heresy. Now that Mo Lao Dao has passed away, others will only think that it is a sudden change in temperament due to great sorrow, and they have to force a smile to make a living. However, thinking of Mo Lao Dao, Mo Daosheng also let out a long sigh. How could it be possible to deceive the people who accompany him day and night? I overestimated my acting skills and underestimated Mo Lao Dao's feelings for the original owner Mo Daosheng's mind was full of thoughts, and he unconsciously walked to a dilapidated Taoist temple in the mountains outside the city. The Taoist temple is not large, and the walls are covered with cracks that have been in disrepair for a long time, making Mo Daosheng very suspicious that if there were an earthquake, even the slightest one, he would have to be buried inside. But at least the whole area belongs to me. According to Blue Star, this is a large piece of homestead land. At least there's no need to pay off the mortgage. Mo Daosheng indulged in hardship and then pushed open the wooden door full of a sense of time. With a desperate, babbling sound as it was pushed, he stepped into the Taoist hall. Mo Daosheng first carried the chicken into the kitchen, raised the heartless kitchen knife, and then ended it with a single blow. Subsequently, Mo Daosheng was not in a hurry to perform the bleeding operation on him, and waited for a moment until the prompt appeared. Ding, dropped object detected, do you want to pick it up? Pickable list. Mother chicken carcass, but seeing the panel jump out, Mo Daosheng did not choose to pick it up. Instead, his mind moved and the panel changed accordingly. Pickable list. Chicken breast, chicken wings, chicken bones, chicken legs. At this moment, Mo Daosheng gave a satisfied smile and selected other items except for the chicken bones. With the confirmation of the pickup, the body of the old mother chicken that was originally under his command was instantly only left with a skeleton. There is no meat foam on this skeleton, even the dog Da Huang of the city's Wang grandma can only sigh at this skeleton, since I gave birth to you, how could I give birth to a dog? Mo Daosheng casually buried the chicken rack under the small vegetable garden planted by Mo Lao Dao behind the Taoist temple as fertilizer. Then a shelf was erected in the open air, some firewood was picked up and lit. Thin bamboo sticks were inserted into the chicken wings and legs that appeared out of nowhere, and the barbecue began. Roast chicken wings, I love to eat, Mo Daosheng hummed a strange tune in his mouth and searched for Shuyuan www.zhaoshuyuan.com, taking out the juice he had picked up and applying it, constantly flipping it over. But due to the limited amount of firewood, it took some time to bake, so Mo Daosheng's mind moved and a panel appeared in front of him to check the recent harvest. Name Mo Daosheng, Miscellaneous Studies Sexual techniques, beginner level, Dao Jing, perfection, facial techniques, advanced level, medical techniques, beginner level, qualification. Dao Xin Tong Ming Backpack. Chicken breast, 10 pounds, pork, 50 pounds, Dao Dian. 9999 After these months, Mo Daosheng has also roughly figured out the pattern of picking up dropped objects on the corpse touching panel. Intangible dropped items such as miscellaneous knowledge, memory, and qualifications, once picked up, will be directly obtained by oneself. If it is a physical drop, 
it will be stored in the backpack space of the panel after being picked up, and can be taken out as long as you think about it. There seems to be no concept of time inside the backpack. What it looks like when picked up is what it looks like when taken out, but once taken out, it cannot be put back into the backpack. Looking at the two miscellaneous studies of room techniques and medical classics, M.O. Daoxing nodded with satisfaction, the latter of which was obtained from the teachings of a doctor who passed away due to illness. As a collection enthusiast, the more, the better. Maybe when will you need it? As for the final point, M.O. Daoxing had no idea and was completely unaware of its purpose. I only know that the 9999 Taoist points, along with the qualifications of the Taoist scriptures, physiognomy techniques, and Tao Xi and Tong Ming, were all picked up from M.O. Lao Dao. As soon as M.O. Dao Dao thought of him, his expression became complicated. Looking at the flames flickering in front of him, M.O. Daoxing's thoughts quickly returned to the day of M.O. Lao Dao's death. Chapter 3 Evil Guests at the Door You are listening at NovelFull.audio a month ago. Master, the medicine I just cooked has cooled down for a while. The temperature is just right now. You should finish drinking it and go to bed. I'll go to the city to call the doctor. M.O. Daoxing walked into the room, sweating profusely as he carried traditional Chinese medicine. At this moment, M.O. Lao Dao was lying weakly on the bed, with a haggard face, as if the deadline was approaching. As M.O. Daoxing lifted M.O. Lao Dao up, he slowly handed the medicine into his mouth. M.O. Lao Dao also seemed to have regained some strength and struggled to speak. Don't bother, my own body knows and it's time. M.O. Lao Dao lightly patted M.O. Daoxing's hand with his dry hands, supporting him. You've been working hard these days. Taking care of the old man day and night, thank you. Upon hearing this, M.O. Daoxing's eyes turned slightly red. Although I have only been in this world for a month, I deeply empathize with myself, who has absorbed the memories of the original owner, and the feelings of the old man in front of me. Where is it? If it weren't for my master picking me up and raising me through hard work, how could I be today? This is what I should do. M.O. Lao Dao smiled contentedly and slowly closed his eyes. Just as M.O. Daoxing was grieving, M.O. Lao Dao suddenly opened his eyes again. On his thin cheeks, his eyes were exceptionally agile. You aren't actually my foolish disciple, are you? M.O. Lao Dao suddenly spoke, although his voice was deep, it sounded like a bolt from the blue to M.O. Daoxing. Just as M.O. Daoxing didn't know whether to admit it openly or bite to death without saying anything, M.O. Lao Dao continued. Although you pretend to be quite similar, your behavior and speech are the same as mine, there are still slight differences, which cannot be concealed from me. Of course, the most important thing is. Actually, that night, you breathed your breath in the arms of the old Taoist. Who knew I was going to collect your body the next morning, but I saw you jumping around like that. The old Taoist was almost scared to death by you, uh huh. M.O. Lao Dao chuckled in a weak voice, and couldn't help but burst out laughing after speaking. Cough cough. M.O. Lao Dao laughed and suddenly coughed violently, with a posture of coughing his lungs out. M.O. Daoxing didn't care about anything else and quickly patted his back. As he waited for it to recover, M.O. Daoxing hesitated and asked. Master. Taoist, why don't you expose me? M.O. Lao Dao smiled and his words were full of freedom. The old Taoist is not an unreasonable person. I have long seen that my disciple is over 18 years old and there will be a difficult time. However, even if there are countless plans, it will eventually be difficult to overcome, and the timing will be fate. Sigh. M.O. Lao Dao let out a long sigh. Although I don't know who you are and why you became my disciple. But although the old Taoist is old, he is not blind yet. During these days, you have been taking care of me day and night, and the old Taoist can see that it is from the bottom of his heart. M.O. Lao Dao patted M.O. Daoxing lightly and comforted him. You don't have to feel guilty, I have experienced too much in my life. 
I thought I could only see the white-haired person off to the black-haired person, but I didn't expect you to be with me in the final moments. I believe my disciple Chuanxia knows and would also thank you for accompanying me on my last journey but then Mo Lao Dao grinned again and playfully squeezed his eyes at Mo Daosheng. Don't think it's okay now. My disciple's background is a bit interesting. If you replace him and accept his cause and effect, the future may not be a good thing. After speaking these words, Mo Lao Dao seemed to have exhausted all his strength, his eyes gradually dimmed, and his anger flowed like a thread. The old Taoist has nothing valuable to offer you, so I'll give you a message. Please remember. Turn your head aside. Mo Daosheng quickly lowered his head. Seeing this, Mo Lao Dao smiled with satisfaction and raised his right hand trembling, lightly touching Mo Daosheng's brow with a sword finger. But stay true to yourself. As the words fell, Mo Lao Dao's hands were powerless to droop, his eyes tightly closed, as if he had passed away. Ding, dropped object detected, do you want to pick it up? Pop it. There seemed to be damp wood in the fire, and a loud noise woke up Mo Daosheng, who was reminiscing. Mo Daosheng looked at the perfectly cooked chicken wings and his fingers twitched. He quickly put on other chicken pieces and began to enjoy them. It would be even better if there were some more barbecue sauce. Mo Daosheng thought regretfully. But unfortunately, Mo Daosheng did not have the ability to achieve his goals and would not have experienced a bottle of barbecue sauce falling from the sky, hiccup, not bad, but it's a bit bland. We need to brush more ingredients next time. After burying the remaining scraps into the soil with satisfaction, Mo Daosheng began cleaning the Taoist hall casually. Maintain a bit of image, the brand image needs to be good in order for someone to come knocking, otherwise just seeing it will scare you away. As Mo Daosheng was vigorously wiping the statue, inside the stone statue, there was a jade pendant flickering continuously as he touched it. Your footsteps wander on the horizon, and my longing follows you to the distance. The next afternoon, Mo Daosheng, who had just made some purchases from the city, hummed a tune and returned to the Taoist temple with a duck in one hand and a bucket of lime in the other, feeling happy. After finishing dinner, come and sew and repair for the Taoist temple. We need to do enough face-saving work. Eh. Pushing open the dilapidated wooden door, Mo Daosheng was about to enter, but he was taken aback when he saw the scene inside the temple clearly. ZhaoZhuiYuan.com I saw more than ten guards dressed up, with majestic figures and wielding swords, squeezing into the observation hall. Standing and sitting, they all stared brightly at Mo Daosheng, who was about to enter the door. Hello, I'm Mate Wan Waimai. I'm here to deliver takeout to Mo Daochang. Since he's not here, I'll come back later and leave first. Mo Daosheng saw something wrong in his eyes and spoke haphazardly, reaching out to close the door again. But the leader on the other side wouldn't let Mo Daosheng run like this. He moved his body and came to Mo Daosheng in the blink of an eye. The speed was so fast that Mo Daosheng only felt like he was seeing a ghost. Then he raised his hand and lightly grabbed it. By the time Mo Daosheng reacted, he had already been carried to the front of everyone. What are you people and what are you doing? Mo Daosheng knew he couldn't run away and didn't struggle anymore. He sat down on the ground and smashed his jar. But the crowd did not answer him, but instead looked at the leader in unison. Lin Shaoxi, is that him? The leader's eyes lit up with a strange yellow light, looking up at Mo Daosheng's head as if he was recognizing something, but did not answer. After a moment, the leader nodded and took out a jade box from his pocket. After opening it, he took out a seal. I don't know where a silver needle came from, and I stabbed Mo Daosheng's right fingertip, dropping blood droplets on the seal. After coming into contact with Mo Daosheng's blood, the seal suddenly shone brightly and condensed a large, blood-red, ginger, character in the air above. Seeing this, everyone quickly knelt down on one knee, clasped their fists, and shouted in unison. See His Highness the Ninth Prince. Mo Daosheng, who was originally hiding his left hand in his sleeve and tightly gripping a small knife, was about to make a desperate move when he saw this. 
What? Is there something wrong with this script? Chapter 4.9 Death Coffin, A Land of Extinction You are listening at NovelFull.audio M.O. Daoxing was sitting on a chair, listening to the leader across from him, Lin Shaoxi, explaining the ins and outs. M.O. Daoxing placed his hands on his thighs, his fingers constantly tapping on his thighs, as if to ease the inner turmoil through such actions. Originally, the original owner was the ninth son of the so dot called Heavenly Holy Emperor, and his status could be described as priceless. But unfortunately, the original owner was regarded as unknown from the moment he was born, all because of his special destiny, which was the fate of the Nine Dead Tomb Coffin. The Nine Dead Underworld Coffin, with a fate ranging from ferocity to evil, is not tolerated by heaven and earth, and is born with nine calamities. Therefore, the original owner was in an extremely awkward situation after birth, and even his biological mother did not like him, only feeling unlucky. After being guided by the Dao men, it was placed in a wooden basin and abandoned in the river. The wood was washed with water, perhaps it could pass the disaster and have a glimmer of vitality. My surname is Jiang. After being born, I was packed in a wooden basin and thrown into the river. It seems that this was all set up in collision with a certain high monk, right? It seems that it's all a script for the journey to the west, and the result is that the nine sons won the throne. Jiang Luer, oh no, Mo Daoxing complained in his heart. Looking at the Lin Shaoxi, on the opposite side, as he said, he was a disciple of the sect leader, proficient in the technique of observing qi. Therefore, entrusted by the emperor, he led the imperial court patrol to search for the whereabouts of Mo Daoxing. Lin Shaoxi, how did you find me? Mo Daoxing raised a question. As far as he knew, the so dot called Wanqi technique was actually just a trick of a martial artist in the martial arts world, just like his own physiognomy technique, it was just a three-dot way guess. Upon hearing this, Lin Shaoxi smiled slightly, and his originally cold and stern expression disappeared. Your Highness, just call me Lin Yuan. Your Highness has been living in the land of immortality for a long time, so it's normal to have this question. The land of extinction. It sounds like a forbidden area, isn't this just an ordinary ancient society? Upon hearing this, Mo Daoxing became even more puzzled in his heart. However, Lin Yuan had no intention of continuing to play tricks, only to see him stand up and slowly walk towards the open space inside the Taoist temple. As he set off, an astonishing momentum suddenly erupted from him. Under this pressure, Mo Daoxing couldn't help but breathe a sigh, and brilliant rays of light emerged from Lin Yuan's body. Although separated by his robe, he could still vaguely see circles of halos condensed in Lin Yuan's heart, emitting a breathtaking radiance that made him dizzy and dizzy. As the momentum gathered, Lin Yuan, who was standing in place, suddenly lifted his foot and stepped into the air. What shocked Mo Daoxing even more was that Lin Yuan, who was supposed to step into the air, seemed to have truly stepped on an invisible staircase and walked step by step into the air. Standing tall in the air, Lin Yuan wore a strong suit, with a fluttering collar and a handsome face, with a wicked smile on his face. Yi Ran was like a divine being. Mo Daoxing, who was wearing a robe and clothes below, couldn't help but marvel inwardly at the sight. Not to mention earlier, Your Excellency is actually a powerful dozong, terrifying. But Lin Yuan's demonstration goes beyond that. Lin Yuan stretched out his right hand, his mind twitched, and he saw the divine light in his heart seemingly summoned, constantly shifting towards his right hand. With the lingering divine light, Lin Yuan's right hand slowly pressed towards the ground below with a chilling power. Click. With the movement of Lin Yuan's right hand, the stone floor below continued to crack and collapse. After Lin Yuan withdrew his hand, a huge hole appeared on the floor, shaped like an enlarged palm. Mo Daoxing took a slap on his face and sighed inwardly, can't we go outside to demonstrate? What are you doing when you demolish my house? However, considering Lin Yuan's display of military strength, Mo Daoxing chose. Forget it, it's better to do less than one thing. Don't wait for this palm to fall on him. 
Mo Daosheng doesn't think he can be harder than the floor. Lin Yuanjian saw Mo Daosheng's shocked expression and nodded in satisfaction, restraining his momentum. His body, which had originally risen in the air, also slowly descended. As Lin Yuan fell back to the ground, the anomaly that had originally appeared on his body also disappeared. There was no sign that the person who had just made the amazing move was actually Lin Yuan, who had a harmless and ordinary face in front of him. This is the ability of a cultivator. It's easy to open mountains, crack rocks, and move mountains and fill the sea. Therefore, the qi-seeking technique learned by the path naturally has its own divine qualities. Lin Yuan swayed and took a deep breath before forcefully supporting himself to explain to Mo Daosheng. However, looking at Lin Yuan's undulating chest and slightly pale face at this moment also proves that Lin Yuan's demonstration just now is not as easy as he said. Mo Daosheng moved a chair for Lin Yuan to sit down with great foresight. Even though he looked exhausted now, he still had the endurance to crush himself with a little finger. Lin Yuan glanced at Mo Daosheng's movements and sat down rudely, feeling amused. Is this the wandering prince? It is indeed different from other princes and daughters. At the thought of Mo Daosheng's brothers and sisters, Lin could not help rubbing his head, looking at Mo Daosheng more softly, and patted him on the shoulder in praise. Indeed, there is no difference without comparison, Lin Yuan sighed in his heart. Although Mo Daosheng didn't know why Lin Yuan's attitude suddenly improved so much, it was a good opportunity for him to seek advice. You don't have to always call me your highness, just call me Daosheng. Mo Daosheng, this is my name. Mo Daosheng followed the steps down, and Lin Yuan nodded in agreement without hesitation. Since there are cultivators, why have I lived here for more than a decade and never heard of them? Even if there is no trace of them being caught up in the dark. Mo Daosheng raised his own question. Zhaozhuyuan.com when he first arrived in this world and realized that he was crossing and carrying a golden finger. Touching the corpse panel, Mo Daosheng also fantasized about what kind of cultivation world this world was. Which Chinese person can resist the temptation of Wei Li returning to themselves? But unfortunately, Mo Daosheng searched through the memories of the original owner but couldn't find anything related to cultivation, so he had to give up and admit that this was really just an ordinary ancient world. Mo Daosheng is already preparing to find an opportunity to dig the graves of some great scholars and gain some experience in the four books and five classics, so that he can take the imperial examination. Becoming the top scholar, becoming a high dot ranking official, killing treacherous officials, securing the border, marrying a virtuous wife, and taking beautiful concubines but I didn't expect the accident to come so quickly. At this moment, Lin Yuan also let go and collapsed on the chair without any image. He took out a jade bottle from his pocket and took out a pill to take, and his face only slightly improved. I can't blame you for your lack of knowledge. Lin Yuan shook his head and pointed to the patrols guarding outside the Taoist temple. In this land of spiritual isolation, there would be no existence of a cultivator. If it weren't for me, who bears the imperial decree, having to come in, otherwise you would probably never know about the existence of a cultivator for your whole life. The land of the dead spirit. Listening to the word repeatedly proposed by Lin Yuan, Mo Daosheng muttered along, his eyes slightly bright, as if he had figured something out. Ha ah, you must have figured it out, right? You're quite clever. The so dot called land of absolute spirit is actually an area without spiritual energy, and even can reverse erode the cultivation and lifespan of cultivators. Therefore, as long as a cultivator with a slightly normal brain, no one will be foolish enough to come into the land of extinction and seek their own death. A certain mentally abnormal cultivator Lin spoke confidently about this, without realizing that he had cursed himself in the slightest. Chapter 5 Practice Four Realms, Mysterious Statues You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In the land of spiritual isolation, the consumption of spiritual power and physical strength for the same move is several times that of the outside world, and spiritual power cannot be replenished. Therefore, 
Unless you are prepared with recovery pills in advance, your spiritual power will only be used a little less, and sooner or later you will become a mortal Lin Yuan shook the jade bottle in his hand to show it to M.O. Daosheng. For example, when I was just soaring in the air, my initial state of entering the divine will realm was not enough for me to consume in the outside world. However, in this land of absolute spirit, to be honest, this is actually my first time entering this place. I can only say that it is truly a cultivator's forbidden area, worthy of its reputation. I almost made a fool of myself just now. If I didn't land in time, I would have fallen all over. Lin Yuan spoke generously about his embarrassment just now, without any embarrassment. Divine Wheel From Lin Yuan's words, M.O. Daoxing accurately captures unfamiliar vocabulary and raises questions. Lin Yuan he patted his head. Oh, didn't I tell you about this just now? Cultivation is divided into four realms. Forging Qi, Condensing Yuan, Divine Wheel, and Mysterious Pill. Injecting Qi into the body, turning it into personal use, stepping on the door of cultivation for the first time, having a strong and healthy body, this is called forging qi. With the abundance of qi and satisfaction, one can gather qi to form the essence. Once the essence is formed, one becomes a cultivator. Lin Yuan pointed to the patrols on duty outside and commented. Like the patrolmen outside, they are all in the Ningyuan realm. Don't think that the detectives are in the Ningyuan realm, just think that the Ningyuan realm is very simple. Like most of your brothers and sisters, it's just Ningyuan. Our position in the Heavenly Holy Emperor is different from that of your secular dynasty. These patrols are not ordinary patrols, but wind-chasing patrols. Everyone is an elite subordinate of the Zhenwu department. Otherwise, you think the Emperor will send them over to find you. M.O. Daoxing scratched his head, otherwise what? Born and thrown into the river for self-destruction, it's obvious that my father doesn't love my mother, otherwise I could have done this. Now you're spending this money again, just to take me back and gather ahead according to ancestral teachings. What is this cheap dad really thinking? In fact, Lin Yuan was also quite puzzled in his heart. He thought it was just following his ancestral teachings, summoning all the princes and going through the motions. After all, with the special destiny of the ninth prince, even if he really succeeded in winning the throne, he could still be allowed to ascend the throne. But the emperor actually went to the Daomen and negotiated with Master Lin Yuan, the head of the Daomen. He didn't know what the cost was, so he asked Master Lin Yuan to nod and send him to look for someone. Even sending elite soldiers from the Xinwu department to accompany them is confusing and difficult to speculate on your intentions. Lin Yuan shook his head and said, what's the matter with him? Since master has agreed, he has his own arrangements. I'll just send the person back. Lin Yuan patted his chest and continued the conversation. Qi is sufficient to condense the element, and when the element is full, the three meridians form a chakra. After the Ningyuan realm, there is the Divine Will realm, which consists of five wheels. The Underwater Wheel, the Heart Wheel, the Sun Wheel, the Heavenly Eye Wheel, and the Gateway Wheel. The opening of the five wheels is not fixed and varies from person to person, for example, I have opened the Heart Wheel. Five wheels bloom together, three flowers gather at the top, and Heaven and Man are united, forming the Xian Dan. That is the true immortal figure. Speaking of Xian Dan, Lin Yuan couldn't help but yearn for it. Although in the imperial city in divine capital, Lin Yuan is already a leader among the younger generation. While his peers were struggling in the realm of Ning Yuan, he had already stepped into the realm of the divine wheel and opened up the heart wheel. As a child of another family, I wonder how many talented young people in the divine world had nightmares at midnight. But even Lin Yuan is not confident that he will definitely achieve the Xian Dan realm. Immortal Figures Do you know if there are such figures in the Heavenly Holy Emperor dynasty? Mo Daosheng asked curiously. Lin Yuan shook his head and said, It is said that only the Emperor Taizu of the Heavenly Holy Emperor dynasty and the founder of our sect, the two of them, were in the realm of Xian Dan. However, 
they were already figures from thousands of years ago. Even the Xiandan powerhouses have a long lifespan and have long been seated. Besides that, there is no more Xiandan, I don't know where their remains were buried. Mo Daosheng's eyes lit up when he heard this, and he almost blurted it out. Fortunately, he tried his best to restrain himself. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'll be shot dead by Lin Yuan on the spot, so I'll have to make plans later. In Mo Daosheng's opinion, it is more practical to dig a tomb than to seize the throne. A touch of the corpse, a harvest, happiness comes so easily. Seeing Mo Daoxing silent, Lin Yuanxian boredly scanned the interior of the Taoist temple. Although he had roughly explored before Mo Daoxing returned, he still felt unsatisfying when he looked back now. How could there be such a dilapidated Taoist temple? Lin Yuan shook his head, realizing that in the Heavenly Holy Emperor's dynasty, Taoism was the state religion, so even in remote areas, local Taoist temples were a hundred times better than at this time. I didn't expect that in this land of spiritual isolation, the Taoist sect would be so destitute that it truly opened Lin Yuan's eyes. When looking at the statue of the ancestor in the middle, Lin Yuan's eyes froze. It's not that there's any problem with the statue of the ancestor. Mo Lao Dao also worships the Taiching Heavenly Lord, one of the three Taoist sects, and the Taoist sect of the Heavenly Holy Emperor also worships this ancestor. What truly attracted Lin Yuan was a faint spiritual energy that seemed to be sensed from within the statue just as he scanned it. But this fluctuation disappeared in just a moment. If it weren't for Lin Yuan, who is proficient in Wang Qi, who was here, anyone else would probably think it was just an illusion. It's a bit interesting, it seems like there's something small inside this statue, Lin Yuan pondered inwardly. Hey, are you looking at this statue? It's impressive. I heard that my master spent more than ten years polishing it himself, and when it was completed, it attracted many townspeople to come and watch. Mo Daoxing saw Lin Yuan looking at the statue, seemingly interested in it, and proudly introduced the origin of the statue to Lin Yuan. It has to be said that Mo Lao Dao still has some marketing talent, but only a little. The ancestral deity statue carved with decades of painstaking effort and sincerity leads to spirit are such great gimmicks, but they only worked for those few days in vain. Mo Daoxing believes that if he were to switch to himself, he would directly rely on a few villagers to play the trick of healing without illness. Why worry about the lack of incense in the Taoist temple? It can only be said that Mo Lao Dao is a noble and true Taoist who values money like dirt. After listening to Mo Daoxing's introduction, Lin Yuan was about to speak, but after weighing for a while, he still shook his head. It's okay, I'll just say it. Watching the statue carved in great detail, I was stunned for a moment. It turns out it was created by your master's hard work, it's rare. Originally, Lin Yuan wanted to talk to Mo Daoxing about what should be inside the statue, but seeing Mo Daoxing's attitude, it would be too difficult for him to recklessly destroy his master's more than ten years of hard work just for his own speculation. Let's just forget it. Anyway, there's nothing unusual about it. There are always some mindless cultivators who have died here, and it's normal for some of the spiritual materials they bring to mix with the stones. Judging by the aura, it's probably just a low dot level material Lin Yuan pondered in his heart, no longer entangled. Chapter 6 Corpse Puppet, Crisis Hidden You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Your Highness, Lin Shaoxi, the food has been bought by the brothers. A hoarse and unpleasant sound, as if nails were scratching on glass, came from outside the door. Mo Daoxing couldn't help but furrow his brow. What was this sound? Lin Yuan has become accustomed to it, and after walking with the wind-chasing detectives for so many days, he also has some understanding of the other detectives. This special sound immediately indicates that it is the wind-chasing patrol Lu Gui. Lu Gui is also the oldest among this patrol team, in his forties, barely stepping into the realm of Ningyuan. Although his realm and combat power were average, he was proficient in interrogation and investigation, which was why he was entrusted with an important task and served as the deputy commander of the patrol team. 
As for Lu Gui's shocking and shocking voice, which can make children cry incessantly at night, it is because he was once cut open by the killer's throat during a mission. Although he was rescued in time, he injured his vocal tract, which is why he looks like this. After explaining the whole story to the shocked Emo Daosheng, he suddenly realized that it was not so early to be haunted. Undoubtedly, Mo Daosheng took over the errand work and quickly ran to the door. After opening the door, a patrol officer with pale temples and wrinkled face stood in front of the door, holding a beautiful food box in both hands. I have met your highness nine. Seeing Emo Daosheng, Lu Gui's face froze. He quickly showed a flattering smile and respectfully bent down. If it weren't for his inability, Emo Daosheng suspected that he had bent his face to the ground. Commander Lu, please go quickly, no need for any courtesy. Emo Daosheng still admired the person who carried out tasks between life and death. Seeing his seriousness, he quickly tried to get him up. But unfortunately, Lu Gui had already made up his mind. No matter how much Emo Daosheng tried to persuade him, he always maintained a polite and respectful demeanor. Emo Daosheng was helpless and could only quickly bring the food box over. It ended well and everyone relaxed. But just as Emo Daosheng reached out to take the food box from Lu Gui's hand, a voice that startled Emo Daosheng suddenly sounded. Ding, dropped object detected, do you want to pick it up? Pickable list. Items. Lu Gui's corpse, puppet, patrol clothes techniques. Criminal procedure, master, 8 steps to chase cicadas, medium level, 10,000 li tracking technique, low level, cultivation. Ning Yuan beginner level through the transparent panel, Mo Daosheng looked at Lu Gui, who was humbly bent down in front of him until he could already see his smooth Mediterranean hairstyle. It seemed like 10,000 grass mud horses were galloping in his heart. Good guy, just finished speaking, you really met a ghost, right? Excuse me, goodbye. Mo Daosheng restrained the turbulent waves in his heart, showing no signs on the surface. After picking up the food box, he politely patted Lu Gui's shoulder to express gratitude before slowly closing the door, it seems that Lu Gui has actually died a long time ago. What is in front of me is just a corpse manipulated by someone as a puppet. I just don't know when he sneaked in. It seems like he's coming for me, right? Mo Daosheng walked back to the distance of the forest carrying his food box, pondering in his heart. After taking the food box, Mo Daosheng deliberately touched Lu Gui's shoulder under the pretext of probing. Without any accident, he also activated the touch panel, which made Mo Daosheng have to admit this reality. Mo Daosheng was full of thoughts. After sitting back in his seat, he opened the food box and took out the exquisite dishes inside. Well, the dishes of Wangxian Mansion can only be said to be the old fogey in the wind chasing patrol. You can find the best restaurant in the city even if you die. Mo Daosheng sighed in his heart and hesitated whether to tell Lin Yuan, what if they were a group. Lin Yuan looked at Mo Daosheng, who was silent and lost in thought after entering for some unknown reason. He hesitated to move his chopsticks and shook his head helplessly. The ninth prince is polite, so I have to move my chopsticks first. Then I won't be polite. But when Lin Yuan lifted his chopsticks to the golden, crispy and tender roasted roast squab, Mo Daosheng suddenly opened his mouth. Lin Shaoxi, your words just now made me feel relaxed and happy. Could you please ask Lin Shaoxi to pass on my cultivation techniques so that I can have some self.defense skills? Puff. Lin Yuan was infuriated and laughed at Mo Daosheng's sudden request. You should know that practicing martial arts is the foundation of a cultivator, how can one easily pass it on to others? Moreover, it is the martial arts of the sect leader's lineage, not to mention the ninth prince, it is impossible for the emperor to come and seek it. I thought the ninth prince was a smart person, but I didn't expect that. Alas, those who don't know are fearless. Forget it. Lin Yuan sighed in his heart and was about to reject Mo Daosheng's request, but he saw Mo Daosheng dipping his finger into wine and writing four words on the table. 
the four characters are like, Lu Gui is dead. Upon seeing this, Lin Yuan couldn't help but shrink his pupils and looked up at Mo Daosheng. At this moment, Mo Daosheng was constantly raising his eyebrows and gesturing to look outside, winking at himself. Lin Yuan suddenly understood and coughed lightly, in theory, the Dharma cannot be passed down lightly. However, your highness has a special identity. Although I cannot pass on your martial arts, I can pass on some basics to you. But remember, the Dharma does not spread to the six ears. As the words fell, a sudden glow appeared at Lin Yuan's heart chakra. With a wave of his hand, he found the Shuyuan website www.jiaoshuyuan.com, surrounded by countless glimpses of light, enveloping him and Mo Daosheng. Under the cover of the sunset, the two figures were blurry, making it difficult for outsiders to peek. I have already used spiritual power to isolate the two of us from the outside world. Unless someone with a cultivation far superior to mine takes action, no one can eavesdrop on our conversation. Can you explain why you said that Lin Yuan's face was solemn, and he reached out his hand to tap on the four large characters written by Mo Daosheng on the table? Upon hearing this, Mo Daosheng was certain that after making a decision for a moment, he ultimately decided to inform Lin Yuan and take a gamble. After all, if Lin Yuan and Lu Gui were in the same group, there would be no need for such trouble. Just the combat power of Lin Yuan's divine will realm may be enough to easily defeat everyone present. Just now, in contact with Lu Gui, although his expression and posture were undoubtedly ordinary people, I could sense a nauseating smell of decay lingering around him. I have been doing things with my master for others all year round, so I am very familiar with this scent, it only appears on dead people. Mo Daosheng swallowed his saliva and spoke of his judgment with a frightened expression. Of course, Mo Daosheng also made some adjustments to the judgment basis and did not reveal any of his special abilities. After hearing Mo Daosheng's story, Lin Yuan's delicate eyebrows couldn't help but furrow, as if thinking about what Mo Daosheng was saying. At this moment, Mo Daosheng could only look at Lin Yuan with hopeful eyes, patiently waiting for Lin Yuan's reaction. Can Lin Yuan be convinced to believe in himself? This is the only key that Mo Daosheng can currently break the game. Damn it! This kind of feeling that can only be hoped for in others is really uncomfortable. Mo Daosheng murmured inwardly, biting his lips tightly. His hands on the table couldn't help but clench, letting his nails sink into his flesh. Chapter 7 Clear Heart of the Tao, Closing the Door of the Tao You are listening at Novel Full Audio. After a moment of contemplation, Lin Yuan suddenly spoke up. But I didn't notice the smell of decay you mentioned. If even your mortal body could sense it, why didn't I, who is in the realm of the divine will, perceive it? Although Lin Yuan knew that Mo Daosheng did not need to fabricate such lies to deceive himself, he still did not fully believe what Mo Daosheng said. Unless. You have another quirk. Lin Yuan seemed to have thought of something. Before Mo Daosheng could react, he saw Lin Yuan's eyes shining with gold and looked at Mo Daosheng. Feeling Lin Yuan's gaze constantly scanning his body, under that golden light, Mo Daosheng felt as if he had been seen out, nowhere to hide, and his heart was uneasy. At this moment, Lin Yuan showed an incredible expression, as if he had seen something incredible. Ignoring everything else, he quickly stood up and walked over to Mo Daosheng, placing his hand on his wrist and closing his eyes to explore. After careful investigation, Lin Yuan opened his eyes and the golden light seemed to converge, only to see his face lit up with joy. Dao Xian Tong Ming. Dao Sheng, you were born to be a member of our Dao sect. Lin Yuan's face lit up with excitement. Unexpectedly, he thought it was just a mission to travel through mountains and rivers, but it turned out that he could find someone with a clear understanding of the Tao. Having a clear mind and a clear mind is the innate talent for practicing Taoism. It is both a qualification and an artistic conception. Although it can also be cultivated in the future, as far as Lin Yuan knows, for thousands of years since the founding of the country, 
there has never been a person named Tian Sheng who has cultivated the Tao to a level of clarity in the heart. Even if it is one's own master, who has practiced four rounds of five rounds and is only one step away from reaching the perfect level of the divine wheel, the sect leader has not reached such a level in terms of Taoist techniques. The realm of Taoism is not linked to cultivation or realm. The deeper one's cultivation, the more experience they will have, the more distractions they will have, and the more difficult it is for them to attain a higher level of cultivation. Daoxing If you are willing, when you return to the capital of gods, I am willing to introduce you to our sect and become the true disciple of our sect. As long as you are willing to join our sect, you no longer need to worry about the risk of losing the throne. Even if you fail, with the protection of our sect, they will not dare to take action against you. Even the future crown prince wouldn't dare not give me the face of a door. Lin Yuan was excited and the ground turned red. He firmly held on to M.O. Daoxing's hand and refused to let go, afraid that the next moment this sect would grow wings and fly away. It sounds pretty good. After listening to Lin Yuan's persuasion, M.O. Daoxing's heart was also stirred. Although he didn't know that Lin Yuan was so excited about the Dao Xi and Tong Ming he had found from Mo Laodao, joining the Dao men seemed to be a good path. At present, apart from the upheaval of Lu Gui, the most troublesome thing for Mo Daoxing is the succession dispute after returning to the capital city. Regardless of the power behind other princes, how can Mo Daoxing, who only looks at his personal strength and has no cultivation and is a mortal body, compete with those princes who forge qi and condense energy. Even though M.O. Daosheng has the golden finger of the corpse picking panel, the future is promising, but in this land of absolute spirits, where can he touch the body of a cultivator? Nowadays, without giving M.O. Daosheng development time, even if he has a golden finger, it is just a deception for the future. If you enter the sect, it's different. With the protection of the sect, even if you fail to seize the throne, you won't end up being liquidated. It's not a big deal to stay in the sect for a few years and gradually develop. If I have the privilege of touching the remains of the founder of the Taoist sect, I must make those imperial brothers understand one thing. I don't eat beef, Taoist. Lin Yuan, who was completely unaware of Mo Daoxing's inner thoughts, had a bright face and looked eagerly at the Dao Men future, in front of him, waiting for his reply. I just don't know if Lin Yuan would still be able to laugh if he found out about M.O. Daoxing's true goal, which is so treacherous. I'm afraid I'll slap M.O. Daoxing to death and clean up the door. Cough cough, why don't we talk about this on the way? The top priority at the moment is to first understand what is happening with Lu Gui. M.O. Daoxing coughed a few times, but now it's a buyer's market, so he's not in a hurry anymore. Hanging Lin Yuan's appetite first, he refused even if he wanted to. Upon hearing this, Lin Yuan could only nod helplessly, and he agreed to solve the current problem first. Lin Yuan tapped lightly on the table, making a determined sound. To get to the point, since that's the case, it's not surprising that you can sense the so dot called decay of the deceased. Those who have a clear understanding of the Tao and the mind are pure, seeking good fortune and avoiding misfortune, and are not noticed by others. Upon hearing this, M.O. Daoxing couldn't help but nod in agreement, admiring a talent like you who can brainpower himself. Since that's the case, I will investigate carefully again later to see if I can find any clues. For the sake of the court's reputation, I didn't pay too much attention to the status of these patrols before Lin Yuan touched his chin and made a decision. Faced with Mo Daoxing's questioning of whether he would startle the snake or not, Lin Yuan was full of confidence and looked up and down at Mo Daoxing, revealing a wicked smile that made Mo Daoxing shiver behind his back. How could it be? As long as you are willing to cooperate with me. As His Royal Highness, the Ninth Prince, who is about to return to the capital of gods, it is not a very reasonable situation to try to attract the approaching wind chasers. Just as Lin Yuan was consciously strategizing and looking for the Shuyuan website www.zhaozhuyuan.com to go out and call for all the detectives to come in alone, he saw Mo Daoxing pointing to the dishes that had already cooled down in front of him, his face showing regret. 
Lin Yuan immediately scanned the dishes on the table with a golden light in his eyes and shook his head. These dishes are not unusual, they are quite clean. After all, after passing through Lu Gui's hands, for safety reasons, it's better not to eat. Lin Yuan forced out a little spiritual power from his fingertips and bounced it onto each dish. As Lin Yuan's thoughts moved slightly, his spiritual power continued to erode these delicious dishes, creating a chaotic scene. Well, what should I do then? Mo Daoxing weakly questioned the situation. Faced with Lin Yuan's reckless behavior, although Mo Daoxing's heart was dripping with blood, he could still understand. Who knows if there might be any tampering inside. But as a divine realm, Lin Yuan doesn't have any problem not eating a few meals, but he himself is immortal and can't withstand it without eating. Don't wait to starve to death first. Lin Yuan had already arranged to take out a jade bottle from his arms and throw it to Mo Daosheng. This is a small item refined by my martial uncle. Ordinary people can take one pill without eating for a day. My martial uncle named it Pigu Dan. I have given you this bottle, and you can take it with water. Mo Daosheng quickly took the jade bottle that was thrown over. The jade bottle has a delicate touch and superior material. If placed in the secular world, it is also a rare masterpiece. But in Lin Yuan's eyes, it seems worthless, just a container. Is this the grandeur of the Daoist sect? Mo Daosheng, who was poor and afraid, was envious and looked curiously into Lin Yuan's arms. How much is hidden inside this? Although it looks very slim, it can still feel something. Is this a four-dot dimensional pocket? Chapter 8 Tianjiao's Youngster, Killing Family in Blood Curse You are listening at Novel Full Dot Audio. Mo Daosheng poured out a pill from the jade bottle and placed it in the palm of his hand. The pill is light green throughout the body, with a refreshing fragrance of grass and wood, which makes one feel refreshed and refreshed. Without much hesitation, Mo Daosheng looked at it for a moment before delivering it to his mouth. Enjoying the feeling of fullness brought by the pill's lower abdomen, Mo Daosheng couldn't help but exclaim miraculously, isn't this much more efficient than compressing cookies? Lin Yuan nodded as he saw the situation, got up and went out to call in the patrols outside the door one by one, there is no doubt that Lu Gui in front of me is a puppet, with a strange root. It should be controlled by the witchcraft of the eastern barbarians. If it weren't for me barely touching the threshold of the heavenly I will, otherwise I wouldn't have observed anything. As for the other detectives. What do you think, Taoist? Lin Yuan closed his eyes and rubbed his temples, saying slowly. Opening his spiritual consciousness in one breath, he observed so many patrollers, while also trying to restrain the fluctuations of spiritual power from being noticed by others. Even he seemed quite tired now. Mo Daosheng was completely unaware of the Versailles revealed by Lin Yuan and answered seriously. I didn't notice anything unusual from the other detectives. Mo Daosheng also rubbed his eyebrows wearily. Just kidding, as an HR, interviewing more than ten detectives in one go is also very tiring, okay? What's even sadder is that I seem to have been despised. Faced with their own wooing, the patrolmen were all flattered and grateful, but virtuous and talented and respectful but not sensitive. After the end, they all ran so hard that they wished their parents had two more legs, as if Mo Daosheng was a hell on earth. But it's not their fault either, after all, it's just Mo Daosheng's situation. When Da Huang saw it, he shook his head, not to mention them. Well, I've also looked at other detectives and there's no problem. Then the problem lies with Lu Gui. It's only possible that Lu Gui had an accident in a place of absolute spiritual isolation. Otherwise, there are also many cultivators in the court and our sect who have opened the heavenly eye wheel. With such a small trick, there is no escape. Only in this vast spiritual underground, the cultivator's spiritual consciousness is limited and the heavenly mechanisms are confused, so the other party has the opportunity to take action. After making a judgment based on the actual situation, Lin Yuan looked at Mo Daosheng with confusion. 
but who is using so much trouble just to target you? Feeling contemptuous, Mo Daoxing expressed dissatisfaction and raised objections. Could it be another prince taking action? Just in case, after all, even though I have been exposed for so many years, I am still the prince, afraid of my mother's possible support. After hearing these fanciful words, Lin Yuan shook his head and mercilessly shattered Mo Daoxing's fantasies. Cough, in fact, Empress Zhao has another son and daughter with the emperor. The eleventh prince was born with a natural anomaly, with the stars and moon shining together, and was greatly favored by the emperor. My talent for cultivation is only slightly inferior to mine. At the age of sixteen, I have already fully matured. He is a popular figure in this succession. Therefore, Lin Yuan hesitated to speak, as if trying to save a trace of face for Mo Daoxing. Therefore, my mother race will definitely only tilt resources and networks towards my Ududa Bean, added Mo, who is over 18 years old and still immortal, with self-awareness. This is too outrageous. Has the other party recharged the money? I want to report it. Why is it that there is such a big difference when they were born from the same mother? Lin Yuan ignored Mo Daoxing's inner howl and lay on the chair, holding his chest in contemplation with both hands. He murmured, witchcraft, usurpation, kinship by blood. I got it. Lin Yuan suddenly brightened up and excitedly patted the table. Listening to the table's overwhelming and desperate babbling, Mo Daoxing couldn't help but sweat for it. Little table, you must hold on. Fortunately, after Lin Yuan became excited, he did not continue to destroy the poor table, but came to explain to Mo Daoxing. You see, although you are useless, Ninth Prince. Cough cough, although you are more moderate, um, moderate. But the Eleventh Prince, it's just that Mu Xiu is in the forest, and the overall situation has been established. Mo Daoxing's face drooped. Your eloquent expression seems to hurt my heart even more, doesn't it? Lin Yuan also realized that he seemed to be too straightforward and quickly jumped to the main topic. I once saw in the secret script of the sect that there is an ancient blood curse in the East Barbarians. With the essence and blood of their loved ones, they can cast it on the target. It can be as light as losing their soul and causing a sharp drop in their realm, or as severe as dying on the spot and leaving their souls scattered. I believe the other party came with this idea in mind Mo Daoxing was taken aback. Is it so cruel? Hurry to inquire. But at least I am also a prince, let alone my younger brother who is so favored. Aren't they afraid of offending my father by doing this? Lin Yuan shook his head and said, I'm usually afraid, but Emperor Taizu once established ancestral teachings. Any dispute over succession begins, and there are no taboos between princes. As long as it doesn't involve the survival of the imperial dynasty, even the emperor cannot intervene. At the same time, without looking at the process, only at the result, regardless of life or death, the ultimate winner is the heir. Therefore, when seizing the throne, there is no need to resort to extreme measures. Upon hearing this, Mo Daoxing couldn't help but tremble on his body. Is this a serious act of usurping the throne? What about practicing Gu? Help, the outside world is so dangerous. I want to go back to the Blue Star. Lin Yuan couldn't help but smile at the situation and patted Mo Daoxing on the shoulder at Xuyuan www.zhaozhuyuan.com. Don't panic, I'm not here. Lin Yuan quickly tried to give Mo Daoxing a sense of security. Being a prince or crown prince is too dangerous. Dao Men is your eternal home. If I hadn't noticed it before, then there is a possibility that they might have succeeded without careful calculation. But now that the two poles are reversed, the enemy is in the light, and I am in the darkness, I want to see what flowers they can turn up Lin Yuan put his hands on his hips and snorted coldly, feeling quite angry about being deceived at first. Of course, he did not forget to encourage Mo Daoxing and raised his hand to give him a thumbs up. Thanks to you, Daoxing, you have a keen sense of consciousness and noticed something unusual. 
Otherwise, I wouldn't have known how good it would be to be kept in the dark. He is truly considerate and deserves to be ranked among the top three handsome young men in the list of the most desirable marriages for women in the divine capital for many years. Mo Daosheng quickly waved his hand, whether he dared or not, and said goodbye to him. I was afraid. Since that's the case, let's set off tomorrow to avoid any unexpected changes. Is that okay, Dao Sheng? Lin Yuan turned to ask for Mo Daosheng's opinion. At this point, he couldn't wait to bring Mo Daosheng back to the sect. I believe his master must have been shocked to see him, so he must have had his chin dropped. Mo Daosheng nodded silently. The matter had reached this point and he had to go to Shindu. Otherwise, even if Lin Yuan is willing to go against the imperial decree and let himself go, where can he go? A mortal, in front of a cultivator, is like a blade of grass, undoubtedly seeking his own death. Besides Imo Daosheng licked his lips, feeling the joy emanating from his heart, and tried to suppress his slightly trembling body due to excitement. The struggle to seize the throne, regardless of life or death, I believe there must be many corpses of the required cultivators. Chapter 9 The Immortal River, Difficult for Immortals to Crossing You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. In a deserted forest, the trees are tall and ancient, with the bark covered in traces of time and twisted branches, as if they have experienced countless storms. The light in the forest is dim, and only occasionally through sparse leaves can a few faint rays of light be seen. The ground is slippery and covered with decaying leaves and various unknown weeds. The air was filled with a damp and decaying atmosphere, which made people feel suppressed. But at this moment, the quiet forest was interrupted by a commotion. How far is it to reach the riverbank? Mo Daosheng was panting heavily, carrying a backpack behind him. His originally handsome face had already turned gray, and his long hair was also withered and forked, without any image. Mo Daosheng was sandwiched in the middle of the team by the wind-chasing patrols, guarding left and right for any unexpected needs. But compared to the disheveled Mo Daosheng, the detectives had a neat face, only slightly tired, and Lin Yuan was even more energetic, dressed up without being stained by the wind and sand. After hearing Mo Daosheng's inquiry, Lin Yuan smiled and said, It's almost there. It's still about a hundred miles away from the Chinxian River. Is that all? Mo Daosheng feels like the sky is about to collapse. It's already half a decade since they set off. After packing up his belongings and bidding farewell to Mo Lao Dao at his grave, Mo Daosheng followed Lin Yuan and the others back to the Heavenly Holy Emperor. But Mo Daosheng never expected that this return journey would be so long I only rest for two hours every day, and in half a decade, I have traveled thousands of miles on mountain roads, with a straight dot line distance of thousands of miles. If it weren't for Lin Yuan occasionally feeding himself a few Pei Ben Gu Yuan sect pills, Mo Daosheng seriously suspected that he would have died long ago. In fact, there was originally a patrol officer who wanted him to take Mo Daosheng away, but he was stopped by Lin Yuan. Lin Yuan earnestly advised, This is also for your good. Your body is too weak. If you only take pills, it will only make you feel weak and damage your foundation. Only through exercise without consuming can we better integrate medicinal effects faced with Lin Yuan's sincere advice, Mo Daosheng could only grit his teeth and persist. However, Lin Yuan did not deceive himself. Mo Daosheng lowered his head and clenched his fist, feeling that his whole body was full of strength. He could easily kill A ah Huang with one punch. In order to verify the effectiveness, Lin Yuan had the patrolman go to the mountains a few days ago to catch a fierce tiger and practice with Mo Daosheng. Facing the fierce tiger with its fangs and claws, Mo Daosheng, who is different from before, said, I think you are just the one who inserted the first label. And eat me a shovel. Although he killed the other person afterwards, Mo Daosheng, who almost had his chest and abdomen cut open, expressed great regret and will never use the sliding shovel move again in his lifetime. Fortunately, Lin Yuan took out a bottle of hemostatic and healing spring revival pill from his pocket and took it, 
which allowed Mo Daoxing to improve so quickly that he didn't even leave a scar. Watching Lin Yuan continuously pull out pills, Mo Daoxing questioned whether Lin Yuan's sect was really called a Dao Men, not a Dan Men. Congratulations, Your Highness. You are about to overcome all your hardships and enjoy your life. After crossing the Qinxian River, you can swim down and escape from the land of the dead spirit. When the time comes, use magic to rush back to the capital of gods, it's only a few days' journey. A piercing sound shattered Mo Daoxing's memories and brought them back to reality. Mo Daoxing doesn't have to look back to know who the other person is. With such a distinctive voice, who else is there besides Lu Gui? Sure enough, Mo Daoxing turned his head and saw Lu Guina smiling and obsequious old face approaching him. Mo Daoxing couldn't help but admire the person behind Lu Gui's manipulation. Too dedicated, this licking dog appearance made Mo Daoxing couldn't help but recall his experience as a boiling lamb at Blue Star back then. It was so similar. However, in the face of Lu Gui being so close to him, Mo Daoxing remained calm, seemingly casually rolling up his sleeves and feeling the presence of two talismans inside his wrist. He felt certain in his heart that he even had some leisure time to talk to him. Along the way, although Lin Yuan used the excuse of honing Mo Daoxing to intentionally slow down the journey, attempting to lure snakes out of the hole and lure the people behind Lu Gui through such fishing law enforcement operations. After all, only a thousand days of being a thief, there are no thousand days of being a rebel. However, just in case, Lin Yuan also deployed measures on Mo Daoxing in advance to protect his safety. These two talismans are the talismans given by Lin Yuan. It contains its spiritual power, and once activated, it can unleash a blow far beyond the condensed elemental realm. Even in order for Mo Daoxing to use the talisman as a mortal, Lin Yuan even spared no effort to imitate it with his essence and blood. At that time, Mo Daoxing was deeply moved as he watched Lin Yuan, who had a pale complexion, despite taking pills and taking several hours to adjust after two consecutive drops of blood essence. He immediately swore in his heart. Good brother. Just for the sake of your face, I will focus on finding my ancestor's grave in the future. I will never have the idea of your ancestor unless absolutely necessary. Lin Yuan had no idea that his actions had inadvertently saved the remains of his ancestor. At this moment, he was watching with great interest as Mo Daoxing and Lu Gui chatted happily, feeling amused in his heart. ZhaoZhuyuan.com, Inspector Lu, may I ask why the river ahead is called Qinxian River? This name sounds quite strange. Lu Gui lowered his eyebrows, looked obedient, and patiently answered while bowing his body. Your Highness is unaware that this Qinxian River, also known as the Jueshian River, is difficult for ordinary trees to float. We can only rely on the Tian Kingma shipyard to build ships and pass through this river. This river water is unique, and if touched by ordinary people, it is undoubtedly the same as ordinary water. But if a cultivator falls into the river, they will melt their spiritual power, destroy their skin, and melt their muscles and bones. Like a small person, if they fall into the river and no one helps them, they will turn into blood and water in no time. This river seems to be the natural enemy of cultivators. The higher the level of cultivators, the stronger the erosion of the immortal water on them. I believe even if a true immortal were in this river, his soul would not be scattered in a moment. That's why I got this name upon hearing this, Mo Daoxing couldn't help but be taken aback. It's really mutually reinforcing. The river that can kill immortals cannot bear the slightest bit from ordinary people, and in a sense, it is also quite fair. Since the Jueshian River has such a miraculous effect, hasn't a cultivator sent mortals to fetch water for it, put it in a container, and wait for it to be needed? Up, Taoist friends, please stay and take my water gun attack. At this moment, Lin Yuan suddenly walked over to answer for Lu Gui. There have been cultivators who have tried their best, but once the water of the Jueshian River leaves the surface, no matter what kind of container is used, the inexplicable substances inside will quickly disappear and become ordinary river water. 
Emo Daoxing could only bow his head in despair upon seeing the situation. He didn't expect his newly conceived ultimate move to be rejected like this, which was truly chilling. But that's also good, after all, I can't always be immortal, otherwise I would be splashed with the water of the immortal river, which would not be fun. Chapter 10 Halfway Robbery and Assault, with a Soul of Resentment Attacking You are listening at NovelFull.audio After answering Mo Daoxing's doubts, Lin Yuan did not leave, but slowly walked between Daoxing and Lu Gui and said to Lu Gui, Inspector Lu, please step back first and move forward. Upon hearing this, Lu Gui quickly nodded and bowed, and walked to the front of the queue to clear the way. Mo Daoxing cast a puzzled gaze at Lin Yuan. Didn't you make me get closer to Lu Gui and force him to take action? Lin Yuan did not respond to Mo Daoxing, but silently, Mo Daoxing advanced together, as if he were a guard. However, at this moment, Lin Yuan's voice rang in Mo Daoxing's mind. Don't be surprised, this is my teleportation. You don't need to respond, just listen to me. The fish has taken the bait. There is an ambush ahead, and the opponent is also a cultivator from the divine will realm. I don't know which prince has such a big hand. You're young. Just as Lin Yuan was still instructing Imo Daoxing, a sudden mutation occurred. A stunning aura suddenly erupted in the dense forest on the left, and a figure in a black robe swept out from the depths, appearing suddenly in front of Imo Daoxing in his group like a ghost. The figure in the black robe was tightly wrapped, and only his masculine identity could be vaguely seen from his figure. On his face was a mask engraved with strange patterns, carrying a soul-stirring magic. Mo Daoxing only glanced at the pattern briefly, feeling dizzy and disoriented, and quickly averted his gaze. The patrollers were also surprised by the sudden incident, but even if they realized that the opponent was a cultivator from the Divine Will Realm, they did not panic and drew their swords to form a defensive posture, guarding around Imo Daoxing. But the black-robed man paid no attention to the movements of the patrols, as if in his eyes, only Lin Yuan Yuan had the qualification to enter the target. Undoubtedly, he is the most outstanding Tianjiao of the Taoist sect. Although I covered up my breath, I was still discovered by you. He truly lives up to his reputation. The man in the black robe spoke coldly, and although the content was a compliment to Lin Yuan, he could hear the chill beneath him. Even the mouse generation who hides their heads and reveals their tails deserves to comment on me. If you dare to take off your mask, I respect you as a person. Lin Yuan looked at the black robed man with disdain without any fear. The black robed man shook his head at the words. That's not possible. I don't have the good fortune of the sect master as the backstage. If my identity is exposed, then Lin Shaoxi will probably have to bury his body in this place of absolute spirit. Humph. Lin Yuan also didn't want to talk nonsense with him anymore. After taking him down, he naturally knew his identity and helped Imo Daoxing eliminate his opponent's influence in advance, which would be used as a gift to supply him. Thinking of this, Lin Yuan no longer hesitated and ordered the patrols to protect Emo Daoxing. Suddenly, a magic sword appeared in his hand. The sword has a slender body, smooth lines, and Taoist symbols flowing on it, making the magic sword sharper and more mysterious. With the acquisition of the magic sword, Lin Yuan no longer restrained himself, but instead gathered his energy in energy all the way, waiting for this moment. With a breath that was far superior to the black-robed man, Lin Yuan was surrounded by bursts of green light, rising out of nowhere. His figure rushed towards the black-robed man like lightning, leaving only bursts of breaking wind in place. The black-robed man couldn't help but freeze his face upon seeing this. The Longevity Sutra of the Qin Emperor However, the black-robed man did not shrink, but slowly extended his hands. Countless vengeful souls wandered out of their hands, blocking the sky and sun, and the sound of mournful screams could not be stopped. Lin Yuan looked at the scene in front of him, which was like a human purgatory, and his anger rose from his heart. How dare you sacrifice your blood to the common people and refine your vengeful souls? 
Aren't you afraid of being held accountable by the court? You all deserve to die. Lin Yuan let out a roar and then caressed his sword with his fingers. Huang Huang Tianwei, eliminate evil and demons. Countless bright golden thunder fell from the sky as Lin Yuan swung his sword. The vengeful souls of the black-robed man were like thin paper in front of the golden thunder, breaking at the slightest touch and leaving their souls scattered. Jin Lei finally managed to disperse after destroying his vengeful soul dozens of times in a row. I can't believe you've even learned to ward off evil spirits and thunder, but I underestimated you. But how can you stop me? The black-robed man shows no concern for the loss of vengeful souls. The main material for refining vengeful souls is just ordinary people, like wild grass. If these unjust souls can have the effect of consuming Lin Yuan's spiritual power, it is exactly what he is willing to see. I saw him take out a small black flag, with scenes of the supreme hell on its surface, and countless vengeful souls tormented in it. As the flag flipped, a larger number of vengeful souls surged out of the flag and rushed towards the crowd. Although most of the unjust souls were blocked by Lin Yuan alone, there were also a few who rushed towards Imo Daosheng and others. Don't be fooled by the fact that the resentful soul is vulnerable in front of Lin Yuan, but only when it is actually dealt with can the detectives know its thorniness. Although it was originally just a mortal soul, after being refined by evil cultivation, even the worst vengeful soul can compete with qi forging cultivators, and there are also many vengeful souls that condense their energy. Commander. It's a bit unbearable, I can't even fight to death. A young forging gas patrol officer looked at the vengeful souls slowly gathering in front of him, who had been cut open by his own sword, and shouted at the commander with a pale expression on his face. The commander quickly shouted upon seeing the situation. All those who forged the Qi realm retreat to the inner layer to protect His Highness. Those in the Ningyuan realm are blocking enemies on the periphery with me. Don't be stingy with Yuan power, take the revival pill in a timely manner. Only Yuan power can eliminate the resentful soul. Watching the vengeful souls melting rapidly like ice meets fire under the attack of additional elemental power in front of them, the patrolman suddenly realized and quickly acted according to the commander's instructions. At the center, Missouri Daosheng watched the scene of the gods fighting in front of him and couldn't help but reach into his sleeve, tightly gripping the talisman. Fortunately, under the command of the commander, the patrols who had experienced countless battles gradually cooperated and maintained the precarious situation. But the final key still depends on the outcome on Lin Yuan's side. Mo Daoxing knew that the battlefield on Lin Yuan's side was the key to truly determining his own safety, but unfortunately, his vision was blocked by a constant stream of resentful souls ahead, and he could only pray in his heart. At this moment, the original arrogance of the black-robed man had already disappeared from the other battlefield. Looking at Lin Yuan, who was carrying the anger of killing evil and destroying demons, with his hands and every move in front of him, a divine thunder suddenly appeared, his normal shining with ancient golden light, like a deity descended from the world. The black-robed man was dressed in rags, his hair scattered, and he was beaten back step by step. Damn it! Is this the Taoist method of the Qin Emperor? It's really a matter of heaven conquering me. I don't know if they succeeded there. The black-robed man could only hope that the dark cloth he had laid earlier would work. While avoiding it, he looked towards the other side, but the result almost made him vomit blood. At some unknown time, Lu Gui had been excluded from the queue. When he tried to return to the team, he allowed himself to speak eloquently, but faced only the ruthless swords of his companions. It was precisely Lin Yuan who had already informed the patrol commander of the abnormality of Lu Gui and asked him to pay more attention. Although the leader did not initially believe it, with Lin Yuan's unwavering assurance, he ultimately chose to obey. Now looking at being submerged in the group of resentful souls, yet unscathed, the leader couldn't help but admire Lin Xiaoxi's divine insight, rather than waiting for Lu Gui, who would not offend him. 